Ladies and gentlemen, come back for a command performance, Isabella Ritter. <laughs> hey everybody. All right, so today we're gonna be cooking instead of baking. And today we're gonna be cooking one of my personal favorites to ever cross this earth <laughs> is chicken tortilla soup. Now, this is my mom's, this is usually my mom's dish that she makes. Um, and how we found this was, again, the famous Miss Allison. Legendary. Me, yeah, who gave me the, um, the cookie tip about, mm -hmm. well, go watch my cookie video to, to find out about the, the secret tip. Um, so Miss Allison, when we all were sick and when my dad was gone on a deployment, um, we all were very, very sick, the whole family. And Miss Allison came over to our house and brought a big pot of this soup. And oh my gosh, I was too little to remember this, but my mom said it was just so delicious and just mouth-watering. So we've been making it ever since, and it's just such a good soup, such a good, oh, it's just so fresh. And there's lots of vegetables in it. Um, I think it's pretty it's easy too. Yeah, isn't it's it? really easy. This is a good college soup, huh? Is that what you're saying? A good yeah. college girl, uh, <laughs> easy for you to cook? Yeah, huh? and you can make a lot, and it's just so good. Okay. Um, all right, so to start off, we cut up uh, four chicken breasts and cut off all the fat and everything. And um, we have heating up right now some olive oil, and we're going to put that. Um, we're gonna put the chicken in with the olive oil. Okay, watch this. Smoking. Turn that away. No, I'm turn that heat down a little bit. You gotta get it up off the bottom of the pan. Scrape yeah. it. Scrape it off the bottom. And if you have to pull the pull the pot off the heat, you can do that too. Yeah. Kind of get it get it going browner. Took us a little longer to get going with the cooking the chicken. Yeah. So you gotta scrape now, scrape it off the bottom of the pan. Alright. So just kinda get that That's up. how much how much olive oil did we put in there? Uh about a tablespoon, right? Okay, yeah, about a tablespoon. Okay. Alright, so now you can hear the now. Now, the now fire you can bring on it back on. Long. Now you can bring it back over on the fire now. Right. You don't want to cool it all the way down now, right? No. Just push it back over on the pan. Over, over yeah, on the... I know. It's there you hot. go. Alright. So we're just sauteing the chicken, right? Now how big are the, the... does it matter how big the pieces are? Uh, I mean not really. We like to do bigger chunks, but you can honestly make this your own. You does can... anything matter with the soup? Not really. If you, like... Honestly, it's not an exact science, and you can make it your own, like adding whatever vegetables you want, um, so stuff like that. Okay. Um, so now we're just gonna let the cooking chick a little. Well, where do the, we find the uh, ingredients? I just said the cooking chicken. Okay, we're gonna let the chicken cook a little bit. Oh. Um, now what was that? What would you? I what said, where would we find the ingredients? Where would we? Yeah. Set it on that. Wait. You set it on that burn. Oh, there you go. Where do we find the ingredients and the directions? What do you mean? For this meal. Where would we find it? Down below? Oh, okay. Down yeah. below? I thought you were talking about a grocery store. And on the way like, down, we do what? Like and subscribe. And? And ring the bell. And ring the bell. <laughs> All right, so... I guess while that's cooking, we can. Um, we could probably turn the heat up just a little bit. Now, now, as this as this sautés, you've got a little bit of the oil, but you also got some of the the chicken greased stuff coming off that too, right? Right. So it's gonna get kind of juicy in the in the in the pot there. A little bit, yeah. And are, and we're, are we gonna save that, or what are we gonna do no, with that juice? No, after it cooks, we're gonna drain it. Okay. And depending, I mean, depending on like. The chicken you have, it can be like juicier or not as juicy. So we'll see how it kind of cooks out here. So, 
and just keep an eye on it. Um, now, if I were you, as a tip, hmm. I would move this out of the way, put that plate right here with your yeah. spatula, because you don't want to have to walk it all the way across the kitchen as you end up dropping well, stuff all over, right? You know. Hey, we're all learning, right? Uh, yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, you don't have much longer, do you? Nope. You got college coming up? When you, next you, week. You're leaving next week, right? Taking you up. So right. we're giving you some uh, impressive meals for your for your well, quiver. Well, I can't cook in my room, so. Oh no. Nope. I only got a microwave, so only like popcorn and leftovers. <laughs> so. Nothing is worse than burnt popcorn in a microwave. Believe me. <laughs> Tell you something else I'm sure too. I've burned lots of popcorn. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, now that was some of the funniest uh, emails I ever got when I taught that high school. The front office ladies would uh, send out emails, and the one there was one one day where they were like, "Would the person who microwaved their fish lunch, <laughs> you know, you cooked it too long? Please oh, don't ever no. do that again." So microwaved burnt fish, and I'm and oh. it is. That's it's like a... biological warfare. <laughs> so it's got a nice little bubble going. So, so how do you know when this is done? When it's all, like there's no pink oh, and it's good. all good. like white. You good. gotta make sure there's no pink. Yeah, see all the, yes. the juice there. Right? Yeah. So this is one pot soup, right? So it's right. all gonna be cooked in this pot. Right. Very nice. And all that flavor. Yeah. And this is, I mean, after we've, um, like the first night it's cooked, like, because it's such a big pot that we use, usually this is like our medium-sized pot, just because it's the three of us. But, and when it's left over, it's still, it's not like it gets worse, it gets better. Seems like most stuff with over. tomatoes in it, that's true. Like spaghetti's better a couple days. Have you noticed that? Yeah. And like cold pizza. Mama's spaghetti is better. Yes, cold pizza. You're gonna I'm say, not a well, not cold huge pizza, fan but of cold pizza. What about rewarmed? Yeah. The next day is it yeah. better? Or? No, it's not better. No. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think. I think I just disproved my own theory. <laughs> yeah. Good. So still cooking along. Yeah. The big thing, because you. You know, we want the chicken cooked because basically when the soup comes to a boil, it's done, right? Right. So we, we don't want raw chicken in there. Nope. I suppose you could probably, I wonder, probably put this in the crock pot, right? Cook it all day. I don't Never know. thought of that? I've, I wonder if I'm the radishing Mrs. Ritter, uh, dish. I'm what learning. she would think. Yeah. If, if we cooked it in a crock pot, I wonder what she would think. Yeah. Something tells me that she thinks that that would work. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh oh. Ooh. I have a sense that I feel her presence. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's coming along pretty good. There's a little like bit of pink thing. right there. <laughs> Zoom. Keep cooking. Are you nervous? Well, I've never cooked this before. No, I mean, going off to college, girl. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, more excited than nervous, I think, but yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I still feel like a kid. Oh, I still feel like a kid sometimes. <laughs> 52 years old. That's, that's my favorite, one of my favorite scenes in that movie, Grumpy Old Men. Hmm. Have you seen that? Yeah. Okay, when, when, um... The, those two guys, Walter Matthau and uh, uh, Jack Lemon, are arguing and, and fighting, and, and uh, uh, Burgess Meredith, you know, his dad comes out and he's like, mm -hmm. You two kids, you guys are just a couple of dumb kids. Yeah, that's a good scene. <laughs> he's 90 year old guy yelling at his 70 year old kids, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. It's all relative, huh? That's looking pretty good. See that yellow juice? The right yellow? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, she laughs at me like that all the time. See that yellow juice right there? What do you think that is? See it? The olive oil. Yeah, olive oil, yeah. Probably a little bit of chicken fat too, so yeah. 
olive oil. Stir it around, make sure. What you really don't want is you don't want it sticking. And then, you know, if any paint you see, you want to try to get that on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So you got the, the water, because they, you know, a lot of times they'll inject water in chicken. Did you know that? I did. To plump it up, to make it look appetizing. Makes sense. Yeah. So some of the chicken these days, you when you cook it out, that's what you'll end up with. So. Yeah. That's why, there's a, that's why I want to raise my own chickens. You know what? And you know what, Bella? I think I'll probably name one after you. I don't know if I want to be named after a chicken no? that's going to be... Eaten? Well, may, I'll, uh, maybe I'll just... It'll be a laying chicken, so I'll just... <laughs> just eggs and... Yeah. But it'll be the prettiest chicken out there. <laughs> and the meanest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you think? Oh. Almost done? Let's give it just a little bit longer because I have a dad joke of the day oh. for you. Now I've tried this out on you already, but I want you to pretend like this is a, this one you never heard. He's Ready? asked me to do this before too. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> so, thinking about opening a restaurant. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about opening a restaurant. Well, what and I was going to serve, it's mostly uh, vegetarian. And I was going to serve potatoes. And I was going to serve curry on those potatoes. Mm -hmm. So uh, the name of it was going to be Curry on My Wayward Spud. And yes, there'll be peas when you're done. <laughs> Do you know what group that's from? I don't know the group. I know the song. Kansas. What else do they sing? Uh, dust in the wind. I don't know if I know that one. All we are is dust in the... That was from Bill and Ted, remember? Is it? Yeah, that's yeah. what Socrates said. Oh, yeah. He says, dust in the... No, no, he said, like, sand through the hourglass, sand. so are the days are... No, but Bill but said... He said, sand Dust in the like... wind. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that that is probably, probably ready. Done. All right, so Should grab your... Um, nope, because we're gonna, we might as well just leave the heat on, because we're right. gonna come right back over. So, get, well, hold on, before you do that, make sure you get the big colander over here. Oh, all right. Put that down, because that's what you want. Yes. And we'll, there we go. Make sure that's set, and that way you can just walk the pot over. All right. And you want to just pour that in, and make sure you... Tip it over. Don't be bashful. Oh, Hopefully we don't have any jail breaks. Don't get one going down the drain trying to make a break for it. There you go. All right. Okay, go put the pot back on the oven. I just kind of grab both sides of the colander and kind of give it a back and forth shake and just get all the kind of juice out. No. Okay. Okay. Now the trick is how do we, how do we get that back over there now without here, let's put, put that there we go. Put that under here. Okay. Okay. Get it right over, and then just tip it back over and put it in. Chicken back in. I'll Thank take that. You. You're welcome. All right. Now what? Okay. Now we're gonna add everything. So, so this is pretty easy. Pretty easy. Okay. All right. So. What we've got is we're going to use two little cartons of chicken stock. The These are what size? Kirkland. One quart. So okay. two quarts two of chicken quarts. stock. Yep. All right. And we'll see if we need a third, but again, it's not an exact science. So just pour it straight in. And I would go ahead and turn the heat all the way up because you want to bring it to a boil. All the way up? All the way up, yeah. Because right. you're putting room temperature chicken stock in now. Got to take a little bit to heat up. Just the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Oh no, because... <laughs> because what? Because we're multilingual in this family, <laughs> right? Okay. And because it's... 
Chicken, chicken tortilla. tortilla. Oh, see. Okay. So we'll see if we need a third one, but we're gonna add all the rest of our ingredients first. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna add some diced uh, tomatoes, and this is about, oh, this is 14, ounces. about 15 ounces. Okay. So just pour the So whole juice and all, thing. right? Juice and all. Okay. Get it down close to the water so it doesn't splash. Okay. That's a mistake I make. I get it all over my shirt. Yeah. I what do we got there? Your shirts. Okay. What'd you say? <laughs> we got some Rotel. That's what I love. You take those little shots like that, and most people, I, I always miss it, but most people catch it, and they always go, ah, oh, Bella, they, you know, they. <laughs> okay. So this is. Now I know yes. to watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is 10 ounces of Rotel hot uh, diced tomatoes with habaneros. And Ooh. again, juice and all. Because my mom says it adds more flavor. Oh, that would be the ravishing Mrs. Ritter. Right, I forgot. Okay, and now we're gonna add some corn, Fiesta corn. Okay. And this is again like 15 ounces. So two cans of that, right? Right. And just like, it's according to your preference, honestly. Like, if you like corn, if you like tomatoes, just whatever you like and you will think that we'll go with it mm -hmm. all right so you got some leftovers yeah, in here I see that. got the lone rangers down there in the bottom it's like that's what they call the french fry at the bottom of a the bag when you get a mcdonald's you know or something that's the lone ranger fry at the bottom right <laughs> what we got there these are some uh black beans and first was it two cans are they black beans or are they frijoles negras <laughs> okay, two so cans. we have two cans uh -huh. of, what is it, 15 ounces again. Okay. Um, and we poured them out into a colander and kind of rinsed them down because the juice, I guess, is like bitter. Yeah. So you don't want that in there. Uh, you don't want that. That's we'll a good tip. Just pour it straight in. Two cans. All right. And then what else do we have? Oh, this was, what, two limes worth? Of yeah. lime juice that we squeezed. It was about like four tablespoons. Yeah, it was four tablespoons. Okay. Just pour that in too. Okay. Awesome. And then what else do we have? Oh, I think over there, the cumin. Oh, right. How much cumin? Two tablespoons of cumin that we're going to add. That's really going to give it the... The little... The tortilla pop, right? Right. Oh. So what I would do is you can unscrew, hold on, you can unscrew the top, yeah, and hold it over the pot so you don't like drop it on the floor or anything. Okay. You're going to mix it all up anyway, so. Yep. Those heaping spoons or level spoons? Um, I guess heaping. There you Just go. All right. How's it, you want to check the recipe? How's that? Sure. Do you want to stir it up? Uh, sure. It looks pretty good. All right. Hmm. And we just bring this back to a bring this up to a boil, right? Because yes. the chicken's cooked. Yep. All right. And that now, looks pretty good. See, this nice colors there. See the red and the black beans. You know. The Ravishing Mrs. Ritter had mentioned about putting maybe uh, green bell peppers in there or something, but you got some of the diced stuff from the uh, the can, the Rotel, the diced peppers. This is just how we do it. Yeah, it is. Typically. It is. So color-wise, it's, it's pretty nice. I think green, more greens, maybe some jalapenos or something that would be nice, but that's okay. Looks good. Uh, so now we're going to do... Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Two cups of um, some, how do you say that? Picanti? How do you say it? I'm not going to try. Picanti? Picanti? Picanti. Picante, I think. Okay. You put Picante. the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Mm -hmm. Now, how much are we putting in? Two cups. And now, some people will say that that's a dry measuring cup versus a wet. So, what is it? Is this a dry ingredient or a wet ingredient? And honestly, 
you know, I'll put water in that and then put it in the wet measuring and it's the same. So it's all the same. Two cups. And you know what? If you put a little bit extra, does it matter? Nope. If you is that what is that hot or is it mild? What is that? It is medium. Medium. Well, there you go. Split the difference, right? Right. Okay. Is that so, everything? So that's everything. Huh. And we just stir it up. And bring it back to a boil. Oh, look at the color. Oh, la la. I, no, of course, that's French. <laughs> it should be, uh, what should it be? What, is, what do you say? Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Caramba. Oh, look at that. Uh, and yeah. later on, well, now we, we're talking we about the Mexico? green. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to add some garnish later, which is the cilantro. Oh, yeah. And I guess you could add, like, avocados or straight like a, up like guacamole a guacamole on the top or avocado oh yeah um and then there we're gonna add some cheese now oh yeah shredded cheese mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have we been to uh mexico before we have where we went, did we go we went on a cruise right went to um uh where'd we, we go well i don't think we went to mexico we went to cozumel Central America. cozumel that's where we went Cozumel, yep, yep, yeah, Cozumel, yeah. We went down there and we went, we went Belize snorkeling. In Honduras. Yeah, we went snorkeling down in Cozumel. You remember that? Yeah. That uh, was we, we were just talking about that last night. Just it was just like, because there was a current. You remember that pushed us along the reef. Mm -hmm. So we're floating on the top, looking down at the reef, and you could kind of dive down as you went. And our whole group just floated along, mm -hmm. and it was like it was, it was like flying. I know. Day, yeah. And it was yeah, like we're in there. space or something, you yeah, know? Yeah, that was cool. And we saw that barracuda. Remember that? You remember? I didn't see it. I know you guys. Yeah. Saw Do you remember it. Daddy wrestling that barracuda and attacking it to protect his precious I baby can't girl? See, I remember you don't remember that? that? Well, no. doesn't mean it didn't happen. Barracudas are scary. I know, but you know what else is more scary? What? Daddy. <laughs> I don't know. The barracuda <laughs> killed Nemo's mom. Oh. Okay, well, what do you want to, you, how about we, uh, we'll just let this come back up. Now, you can let this simmer for a long time. Again, you, we could go in the crock pot all day. You could see how easy all of this is. You could brown that chicken up the night before, or, or saute it up the night before, put all this stuff into a crock pot, turn it on, and then go to work, and come home and have chicken tortilla soup. Or you could simmer it a little bit. Uh, the, the ravishing Mrs. Ritter said she is very hungry. Isn't she? Uh, so, really, as soon as you bring this back up to a boil and 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 get it hot, it's mm -hmm. it's ready to go. But you know, simmering a little while would uh, certainly would probably get the flavors all meshed together, right? Probably. I think so. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I, think I, so. I think so. Have we ever done it in a crock pot before? No. I'm sure. You no, we just can't. I mean, this is so simple. I mean, it just comes yeah. together real quick, and and mm -hmm. you know. I mean, and all the ingredients, you just kind of dump it all in and go. Right. And if we have any leftover that we can't eat, mm -hmm. we can put it in, in the refrigerator and freeze, or put it in the freezer and freeze it. So. Do you think we need anything else? Do I, think I don't think. Good? I think it's good. I don't think we need any more tomatoes. I think. Uh, I think it's all good. I think all it looks right. good. I think now the the question would be is if you had a whole lot of, uh, like, beans and corn and chicken and all that. If you were left over with a bunch of that, that you would want more chicken stock, mm -hmm. but uh, I, you know, I think I think there's probably plenty. Yeah, I think so. So, now okay. Some, oh, I guess we can we can cut back. You want to take a break, and uh, yeah. we'll come back, and when it's done, and and we'll garnish one up and mm -hmm. see the finished product. All right? right. Okay, we'll be right back. See you, Bill. All right. All right. So we're back, and the soup finished. Um, we brought it to a boil and then just lowered the heat um, and just let it stay on hot until you serve or whatever you uh, until you're ready to eat. Um, now we tasted it and what did we find? So we tasted it and it was a tad spicy, um, even by my standards. Um, so uh, we added the third Quart. carton of uh, yeah. chicken stock to kind of even the spiciness out and if you really just like don't like spicy spiciness in your food 
um, use like the mild salsa and for the what was the other rotel. one? Rotel. The rotel. Yeah. Um, this is the first time I used the hot yeah, rotel. Yeah, this was the first so, time. And it, it's spicy. It's got yeah. a little punch to we it. We wanted but. to add a little spicy because we've never added. Now we know. Now it's we a little know. too spicy. It's okay, so spicy. you're going to make us up a bowl? Yeah, so this is how I like to make my bowls because I'm in front of the camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Smells wonderful. That cumin really uh, makes that punch. It smells like uh, like fajitas, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fajita soup. Yeah. All right. So scoop from the bottom because that's kind of where all the the good stuff is. Mm. Good scoop. Get some soup. So okay. now, I like to add just some cheddar jack cheese. I like a lot of cheese, as I've said in... And you just put it right on top of it, huh? Yep. I like a lot. Oh my. <laughs> yes, you do. I do. Because it gets it all like... Just good. Because the cheese melts uh -huh. and it gets all... And then just some cilantro. Just kind of tear it up a little bit. I like big leafy kind of cilantro. I know not everybody likes cilantro, as we've heard before. <laughs> Some people think it tastes like soap. Yeah, that's right. I think that's a that's one of those genetic uh, mm -hmm. things that people just. So we could probably you could probably use what green onions mm -hmm. or pars well parsley. I don't know if I'd I use don't parsley. Know about parsley, but or just not have anything like that. Yeah. The green or gives it a avocados, nice color. You know, the gum, yeah, that would give it a nice color. Yeah. So, like sliced avocado on mm -hmm. top of it too, Maybe that would be you could good. Add just yeah. Okay, so up. you got that, and then what else do you do? Um, you know what? Let's put a little bit of sour cream. I don't usually do sour cream, but we'll do a little, okay. a little dollop. Okay. Ooh. Why was that kind of perfect? It was. Okay, and now. What I like to do, not everybody likes to do this, but just some plain Tostito chips. Um, uh -huh. I like to grab a few and crush them Ooh. into the soup, just straight into it. Because, I don't know, it adds some good texture to it. Yeah, you get a little crunch, huh? And I also like to just get Tostitos when I'm actually eating it. I just like to scoop it like a... Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. So, nice. That's uh, you're gonna try it now. Yep, moment of truth. All right, so make sure it's cool. Don't yep, I mean, you learn from me so you can mix, mix it up a little, little bit. bit. Ooh, looks nice. <laughs> See, it just smells so wonderful. All right, mm, let's get some chicken in there. Mmm. Mmm. Got some cheese. Did the, uh, put an extra bit in there, kind of even out the spice? Because mm -hmm. you tried it with a spicer, so that was the way to go, right? Yeah. So that's how you kind of beat the too spicy. You add a little extra chicken stock, right? Mm-hmm. Good. So you recommend it? Uh, definitely. Good job. Uh, <laughs> Good job, Bella. Yeah, that was my first time. So, awesome. um, give it a try. Let us know how you think it is. Um, hope you like it and hope you use it on your family like we do so awesome all right well bella we'll uh we'll see you later hopefully we can get another video in before you head off to college huh mm -hmm. okay Maybe alive or something all right okay all right. take care all right see y'all later see ya